Hey, Christy, it was great to see you out at the house today. What a nice house. Great location, too, by the way. Let's scroll over here. Let's take a look at this inspection report, see how it reads out. Upper right-hand corner is a legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation. Or E, not applicable. Placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that you can easily identify in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments here below. Let's see. Let's scroll over to the outdoor fireplace. Brand new fireplace. Nice stainless steel, which is um, which is great for an outdoor feature, you know, with the little bit of dampness that we have here in the uh, southeast. Uh, so that's beautiful, beautiful fireplace. Has a gas log lighter, uses a key. This is my key, but uh, anyway, I lit it up for you to show you that it does work. Remember, gas log lighters do not have pilots. Basically, you set your wood on the grate, you put a little paper underneath there, light the paper, then turn on the gas. Always remember to remove the key when not in use uh, so that somebody doesn't turn it on and expect something to happen and the only thing that would happen you'd fill the uh, outdoor area with raw gas working damper butterfly damper beautiful beautiful flu system hey while we're looking at that let's see if we got a shot of the uh, top uh there we go top of that one uh i don't know if a tree limb there wasn't really any tree limbs close to this hit this or they just didn't put enough screws in it it basically needs to be reinstalled and so the builder ought to take care of that since it's a brand new fireplace so just giving you some heads up on that all right let's move along we'll look at the living room fireplace living room fireplace is a wood burning fireplace uh, has a it's never been used by the way it has a bird's nest in here it's really not causing a problem um, first time you have a fire in here it's it may, may drop in on you but uh, everything goes up the chimney, so I don't think it's a problem. If you want it cleaned out, we'll come sweep it out for you, but I think it's an unnecessary expense, to be honest. Uh, so that fireplace looks great. No problems there. Let's move to the next fireplace. Din fireplace, uh, open wood burner. Missing some mortar in the firebox area, some soft mortar in the back wall. All that needs to be repaired. Um and you can see above the damper here in this uh, upper area, see the mortars missing. The original mason didn't bother to, to uh, put any mortar in these areas. All that stuff should be sealed by code and uh, also uh, for safety reasons. Uh, let's see. Downstairs fireplace. Uh, there is so much debris behind here that it needs to be, the damper needs to be pulled out, cleaned up, and um, reinstalled. I can do any of these repairs that you want done. Be glad to give you a price on doing that. Just uh, uh, send me a request. I'll send you an estimate. You can see the mortar missing here at the flue base. This is between the damper and the, and you can see this is the flue system and it's missing mortar here. This is not a good, good scenario. It needs to be repaired for safety. Up on top in that uh, den fireplace, uh, you can see the a Z-Flex gas kit here, for, that's for a furnace. Uh, our fireplace has the cap on it, but you can see the big cracks in the crown. It needs to be, re that, this concrete crown needs to be re-poured. Uh, picture of the flu system, it's a little offset. May cause a little bit of a smoking issue. If that's the case, that's easily repaired. Didn't see any voids in here, so I think we're okay. But you can see that the flu system is offset a little bit. Sometimes that can cause a little bit of a backdraft, a little bit of smoke coming back in. Um, let's see. Da uh, cap is uh, on the downstairs fireplace, uncapped on the uh, uh, upstairs or living room fireplace. Chimney caps are not code required. Sellers do not have to install them. A lot of cracks up here in this concrete that there's a brick in the back back there that's actually loose. Uh, from all of these cracks. So all of the repairs that are needed are in your uh, comments uh, section. Let me know what I can give you an estimate on and I'll be more than my ha uh, my pleasure this weekend to, to uh, send you an estimate if you need. Uh, questions for me though, give me a call 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thank you.